Hey, yo, Rick, my phone been blowing up, G. Oh, good. That means it's working. What do we do now? Now, we wait for it to become a thing. More waiting? Look, it'll be like a day or two max. Internet outrage <sighs> machine will probably get around to it once they figure out what else they're mad about today. Look, I'm tired of all this waiting around, bro. Yeah, I know, because you're a guy that likes to take action. It's one of your better qualities, but for now, just sit tight. Let your team handle it. I mean, that's why you got us, right? You yeah. just focus on hooping. We'll take care of the rest. Uh, 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 MP in the place to be, uh, hanging with me in a bumble, uh. Ah, uh, nah, come on, bro, finish that bar, what you, what you doing? <laughs> nah, I can't even come up with that stuff like you do off the top of the head. Nah, I do it the same way you do, except what? Way, way better. better. <laughs> All right, look, what I lack in bars, I make up for in charm, acumen, and obviously extreme physical attractiveness. Just humble God, humble God, humble <laughs> look, God. Look, I thought we playing around, man, but look, people are really talking about you, like, more, and more, and more, and when they doing it, they talking about your music, not even the ball. Like, you've really connected the two in their minds. All right, so where does your charm come in, bro? Right here. Because I made a call, did a little sweet talking, and booked you some studio time to record your first track. <sighs> Yo, stop playing. Are you serious? For real, man. Look, I'm going to send you the details right now, and whenever you're ready, you just head down there and do your Yo. thing. Mm, mm, bah. Let's go. Yo, G, it's, it's all happening, B. I mean, did you ever doubt it? Not really. That's my guy. Yo, and yo, write that line down. Bumblebee, I gotta, I gotta use that. Man, get out of here before I call my connect and tell them that you changed your mind. Uh, and plea in a place to be. They about to go crazy! Yo, this place is legit, Rick. 
Man, come on, you know I couldn't have you recording in some podcaster's attic. Oh, look, on my dad's studio. <laughs> Yo, that spot never had the right acoustics. Like, I just don't know what your pops had against putting stuff on the walls. Hey, look, man, an uncluttered space is an uncluttered mind. <laughs> Whatever, hey, man. Look, hey. you need anything before we get started? You know, my boy's kind of doing us a favor, so we don't have much time. No, I'm good. Let's go, bro. All right, Tony, roll the track. Oh, this is Tony, the sound guy. Hey, what's up, Tony? I didn't even see you, bro. My bad. How you doing? Yeah, he a little hands off, you know. He just want the artist to work. Okay, but yeah. Yeah, whenever you're ready, man. It's all you. Mm. Whooping in the clouds, wings above owls. The scientist of style, mixing up the vials. What's funny, bro? You. Respect the technique of your chef with wet feet. Shoot it from anywhere, nobody can test me. <laughs> we talking them jet skis, no game without me. If LA get cloudy, then my talent's in South Beach. Yeah, we all do it for our mothers. Burn the hoop down, smelling like burning rubber. What are you doing? Hey, yo, yo, how'd that feel, man? Yo, man, I feel great, bro. Look, how'd that sound? And it sound like you got bars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you get all that, Tony? Yeah, you got that. Hey, you want to keep going? Yeah, come on, man, let's do it. Man, drop that beat, Tony. Yo, what's up, MP? Hey, I've been meaning to tell you, you have really upped your game on the court, man. I'm impressed. I appreciate that, man. It must feel good, right? Absolutely, man. I'm working my butt off right now. You know, it'd be pretty cool if you also upped your game in some other areas <laughs> of your life. You know, just replicate those good feelings. You just don't stop, man. What you got in mind? Me? Yeah. Uh, um, well, I mean, off the top of my head, well, you know, I guess if I'm just, you know, thinking out loud here, you've really been making a name for yourself in fashion, and that might be a great area to up your game. I'm just saying, you could wear some unique outfits before some of your NBA games, have some fashion walks around the city, even answer some fashion questions with the media. You know, you could probably even get a more in-depth interview with Andrew Torres. And it's just all off the top of your head, huh? Yeah, man, you know, I'm just spitballing. Okay, so how will we get a sit-down interview with Andrew Torres, bro? Well, if you just so happen to have a best friend who was also your business partner, he may have hypothetically already called Andrew, and Andrew might have possibly said he's noticed your forays into fashion, which is also a topic that his readers are very interested in. And if you were to continue, you know, explore that arena by doing things like wearing unique outfits before your games and being seen around town and maybe even answering some press questions, he'd be happy to sit down with you whenever you want. I sound like I got a lot of work to do, man. Always.
Hey, what's up? Get in here. Thanks for meeting me, MP. Hey, look, you making this easy on me. I was gonna be down here anyway. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I figure since every time we talk, we end up talking about your fashion choices anyway. Yeah. It makes sense to meet here, you know? Hey, look, Andrew, this is my spot. Right, right. Listen, you know, the thing I've been wondering about is now that you're dipping your toes in the fashion world, what is it about fashion that's so important to you? I mean, it's the, it's the ultimate first impression. Okay. See, look at this. Hold mm. on. Look at all these clothes. They tell a story. Mm. You, you get to find out what people are, what they like, uh, colors, patterns, textures, all of that. It just, anything you choose to wear is telling me everything I need to know about you. That's the reality. Interesting. So what's the first thing you notice about the way someone's dressed? You know, just a, just a general sense of their style. What kind of swag they got, bro? You know, are they wearing something because they can pull it off or they worried that they can't pull it off? It's so deep for me that I can tell just by the color you choose to put on. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, it's, I'm, I'm serious about this, man. <laughs> okay, I feel you. Now, I'm probably gonna regret this, but let's just do it. <laughs> what do you see when you're looking at me? Uh, hey, look, it might be easier for me to tell you what advice I give you, okay? Okay, let's go with that. Honestly, man, I just invest in a couple core pieces that are just excellent. I'm talking about quality. You go spend a little bit more, but it's gonna be worth it on the back end. And then once you get about 15 of those, bro, you got you got about 60 different outfits that you can do anything with. And trust me, ain't nobody gonna remember just the one thing, but they all gonna remember that you was the flyest dude in the room. <laughs> Thanks, MP. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that. Hey, look, man, you in the right place, eh? I appreciate you doing this yeah, for, for me. Sure. Hey, look, get to it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Get out of here.
What's up, man? Hey, what you working on? What up, coach? Move on to the next drill. Come on. 
strong guys make sure you get some shots up before you get out of here Finishing around the rim is still an art. Let's get this going. Focus, focus!
let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. You got it. You got it. Come on, Let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's get everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do. Yo, they not about to be. See you later.
I don't know what you're thinking, but you're way out of your depth, MP. This isn't how you handle oh, your business. I gotta look out for myself, coach. Who else go look out for me, huh? Who go do it if I don't? Tell me. All right, well, hey, hey, hey. Forgetting for a minute that there are literally a million other ways to take care of yourself that don't include airing your dirty laundry on social. What do you think I'm doing here? I was looking out for you since day one. You gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do because we both gotta put food on our tables, okay? It's not personal. That look personal to you? It is what it is. I'm not about to be concerned with what another man think about me. Okay, coach? Not doing it. It's your life, MP. But what you do affects those around you. And if, if you can't see that, you got a lot more growing up to do than I thought. And tonight, Greg, two teams with a lot of history that know each other very, very well. And sometimes familiarity breeds contempt. Lefty forward Darius Baisley. Brent can hurt you inside and outside. Well, he's more comfortable on the attack where he's able to put the ball down on the floor and extend and use his athletic ability. But he is gaining some confidence in that shot. And in the offseason, if you work hard enough, you can come back the next year uh, and really show that you're more of a weapon on the outside than you were the year before. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Down low, it's deflected. Hamilton, and he uses the glass on the layup. And several stops for MP before he made it here to the NBA. Greg, he spent a year in college before playing in the G League. And that's a great route for a guy like MP. He felt like he was ready for the challenge. Joining the G League was the perfect place for him to grow. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. To Wood. Houston moving the ball around. The drive by Gordon. And Roby's checked in. And he makes the first but misses the second. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Four-point game. And I think Shea Gilgis Alexander knows that this is an assist play in the making. Finds the open man. Inside. Shoots. And Hamilton gets it to go on the assist from Porter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Porter against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Roby to the wing right side. Lock at six. There's a screen. The shot by Baisley, no good. Gets trailed by five. To the middle. Here's Hamilton. He can't get that one to fall. Excellent D there from Williams. Gilgis Alexander with it. 
and it's Gordon picking him up. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. The Thunder leading by five. And the call on the shot. Like recently, it's come from the Great White North. As Shea Gilgis Alexander has come down to make an impact in the NBA. Yeah, and early on, doing a really nice job at the free throw line. Pass to Shengun. Schroeder against Gilgis Alexander. The offensive approach for the Thunder. Playing a physical brand of basketball so far, and those trips to the foul line have been very effective. It also feels like they just got into a great rhythm from the three-point line right away in the game. And he can't hit All the second. The Martin focused. wide open. He Cut. fires. Hits it from three-point range. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He hits through for a second basket. He's now two for six. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Here's Hamilton. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Seven points for MP. Greg, we heard the rumors early in training camp. This team is a bit torn on their view of MP and how he should be used. Well, from what I heard, the front office loves him. But the man making the lineup doesn't agree, and it's become a point of contention. You wonder when MP will get a chance as a starter. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give him some space, let him get to work. Now here's Porter. Defense right on him. The pass to Schroeder. The feed now to Hamilton. Well, the season's still in its very early stages, but Brent... I think it depends on what the expectations of your team are going in. And if you get to the early part of December and you're not seeing the fusion of some of the guys and the play style that you expected after making either an off-season acquisition or uh, the improvement of some of your younger players, I think that's when some of the discussions in front offices start to happen about what kind of movement could happen for our team and that might be for getting better for the rest of that season or starting to think about the subsequent seasons ahead here's man nothing yet on the scoreboard for him let it go with a three and the rebound goes to the Rockets coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, you know they wanted a few of those plays back. What a tough way to go out in that one. Yeah, really a game that they should not have lost, but sometimes even when you play your best, it might not be good enough. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. Here's the floater. No basket, miss number five out of his eight shots. Houston's gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. Hamilton outside. We've got 123 left to play here in the first. Hamilton's gone three for eight tonight from the field. Gilgis Alexander passes to Mann. Over to the wing. Here's the three. Trills the three-pointer. And the Thunder lead by three. They're kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. Schroeder against Gilgis Alexander. And it's Schroeder missing. The Thunder leading by three. Here's Williams. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Nice shot by Hamilton. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. On the wing, Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. 
23 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Shengun with the rebound. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Gil just Alexander passes to man. On deep. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first. good from Schroeder. The potential Schroeder has is pretty exciting. Such a lightning quick point guard. They've got Gordon. Jayshon Tate out there with MP. Then there's Dennis Schroeder and it's Martin in at the five down low. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Goes up the baseline. Roby can't hit. Rockets trail by eight. And Isaiah Roby out of Nebraska. A second round pick, but boy, there's a lot to like about this young man. There is an intriguing skill set with Isaiah. He can shoot it a little bit. He puts the ball down. He likes to pass the ball. So in the team concept, he continues to develop what he can do offensively. These are the type of games for Gilgis Alexander where the promise of his future looks incredibly bright. Her passes to Hamilton. Shoots over George, and he can't bank that one in. The Thunder leading by eight. Now Williams outside Gilgis Alexander. To the inside. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Here's Baisley. Off target with his three. The Rockets have gone 6 of 14 shooting here in the second. Here's Hamilton. Tries again. And it's good on the way up. Hamilton's got 15 points. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards. Generate second chance opportunities. And hopefully convert. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Coming into last season, the Thunder had posted a winning record every year for more than a decade. But when they decided to rebuild, they went all in and promoted their G League coach, Mark Dagnall, to head coach. He said adversity tests the connection of the team, it tests everything, and shows you who you are. Guys? Good way to start. Thanks, DA. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists in the game. To the paint. Here's Dort. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Dort's got six in the quarter. And how about the athleticism of Dort? You see the width he has, but man, he can outwork you defensively. To the middle. Here's Hamilton. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. Now say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Good guy. But Gilgis Alexander has been the biggest return by far. Exploded once he arrived with the Thunder. And Shea Gilgis Alexander, he'll attack the rim as often as you let him. That's impressive stuff, too, for a young player to just rely on the fact. Any opposition defensively and try to get to the free throw line and take that kind of contact, and that's what Shea does. The team just cannot get into a groove from the free throw line. It's a common problem for them. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Pass to Baisley. Back to Dort. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. On the wing, Williams. Pass to Baisley. 
from deep three-point range. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Martin's got four rebounds in this game. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. MP finds Martin. Hamilton sets a screen for Gordon. Inside. No good from Hamilton. Shea Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display. Alexander has been accepted. D up on him and don't let him breathe. All right? You got it, coach. Been the aggressors. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. So for Oklahoma City right now, we've got Williams, and it's Pa Kusevsky in at the four. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got six assists here tonight. Porter dishes to Hamilton over Williams. No good from Hamilton. And he looked like he rushed it a bit. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, he's got to knock that down. Roby can't hit. Houston leading by three. Feeds it to Hamilton. Akusevsky grabs the miss. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. The Thunder shooting around 48% so far in the third. Into the lane. That puts them in the lead. Mann's got five points in the quarter. Houston's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Pass to Shangun. He kicks it to Porter. a piece of it. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. The offensive rebound. The kick out to Williams. There's the screen. And the pass to Roby. Down low. And it's Williams finishing it off. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Now, there's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. On offense, here are the Thunder. They're on a 13-4 run. Man passes to Pakusevsky. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Porter pulls it in. I'm not going to see that. Very often the defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Shengun passes to Hamilton, and MP throws it down. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one-hand jam. Passes it to Mann. 127 left in the third quarter. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. Chalk up two there. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Deflects the pass. And uh, 101 left to play in the third. Shengun passes to Hamilton. An easy two points on the layup. Now it's a three-point Houston lead. 
And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Gil just Alexander passes to Mann. Here's Rope. Pass to Pokrusevsky. Oklahoma City moving it around. Just five to shoot to the inside. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals they jump. Pockets leading by three. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Well, that's two teammates who used themselves to one another. Good from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander against Schroeder. Here's Hamilton. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Here's Giddy from 12 feet out. Off target with that shot. So we see Houston taking the W here. Even early on. Hey everyone, John, why don't you start us off? You are currently trending on social because your account liked a post that said you should be playing more. Care to comment? No idea what you're talking about, John. Ricky handles all my social media. Well, that might be, but this is probably not gonna die down anytime soon. Then it's a good thing I don't use socials, right? Not trying to stir the pot here, but is this an indication you're not happy here? That's a huge leap, John. Come on. Somebody likes a post about me on my account, and suddenly that means I'm upset? <laughs> Man, everything's good on my end. I got no issues here, bro. Uh, why don't we go with Candace next? Nice job on the offensive end tonight. Was there anything you saw from the defense earlier in this one that you knew you could take advantage of? You know, Ken, it's not really. I felt like I was able to impose my will on them, make them adjust to me. Oh, well, is it ever difficult for you to find that balance between adjusting to what the defense gives you and pursuing the type of shots you want to pursue? Ah, that just comes easy to me. I don't force things, so I try to do me first. ABC, if that doesn't work, then yeah, I'll make adjustments. It just, it just usually works. I'm not surprised at all that MP was stooped this low. I told y'all, he didn't like the coach. And you know with that little channel of his, he wants the drama. It's good for ratings. Believe me, I know. And can we talk about this tweet for a second from user start 
MP, you idiots. First of all, is that your burner MP? I refuse to believe a real person would name themselves that. Second of all, the tweet said, and I quote, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Are you kidding me, MP? You think you're Michael Jordan? And you want to talk about clowns? The only clown here is you, running around with your Twitter fingers, acting like a fool like this.
Hey, man. I see you want to work on finishing at the hoop. Let's get started.
get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's get everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do. You got it, you got it. Come on, man. Hey, he can ball, huh? It's raining, baby, it's raining! Just like that. Get everyone over here and get started. This is what we're gonna do. Ain't not about to be. Hey, see you later, man.
Every year, Grant, the officials seem to emphasize a different rule. You think it takes long for players to adjust? You know, B.A., it depends on the rule and how... Austin with the ball. It's a five-point game. They're getting their first look of the season at the Rockets in this one. And they swept the team last season, got the upper hand, and sustained the momentum. Well, a year ago, there was a big two teams. But changes are always made, and we'll see how they match up this time around. Houston has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. On the wing, MP, hounded by Tatum. Kicks it out to MP. Back to Tate. Three-pointer. He can't get it to go. And Boston going the other way now. Here's Pritchard. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. To the paint. Let's it go from 11. That one a little long. The Rockets have gone four of nine in this one so far. Pass to Hamilton. Tatum with a steal. Brown against Tate. Brown can't hit. The Rockets trail. Horford with a steal. Here's Tatum. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Tatum's got nine points. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Celtics. Their frenetic defense has been impressive, putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. Horford against MP. Horford. The shot misses, and Houston will come the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. Yeah, they really worked hard to find shots in that one. Some good play calls and energy on the offensive end. Well, give credit to a couple of their guys for their complete locked-in nature. They were just focused, and they made everything they looked at. Here's Williams. Yes, great play by Horford to set him up. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. And some changes here for the Celtics. Cornette's checked in for Horford. Neesmith comes in for Jason Tatum. And it's White in for Brown. And over his career, Grant, Al Horford has continued to improve his outside shot. I mean, he really has. He came into the league as a low-block bruiser. Eight years in, he adjusted and added a three-point shot. And he has been a reliable player from outside since then. Here's Pritchard. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to White. Outside, Williams. Six to shoot. Here's Pritchard. Let's the three fly. Out of bounds. It'll be Rockets ball. Houston has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Here's Martin. Williams defending. Back to MP. Six feet out, he nails it. Here's White. Pass to Pritchard.
Back to White. Three-pointer. Schroeder with a rebound. The Rockets have gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. To the inside. From short range. Shot by Hamilton. No good. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Outside, Williams. Pass to Neesmith. Five on the clock. Here's Cornett. Here's Pritchard. Pure from three-point range. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Hamilton with the bucket. And if the name MP sounds familiar, it might be due to his high school days. Through social media, he had a major presence when he was a teenager. It caused MP to gain a lot of fanfare at a young age. Now, he'll have to work hard to shed the image of being a social media star and be viewed as an NBA star. The Celtics with the lead. And Pritchard, here we go. That shot is off. For Houston, they've got 6 of 14 in so far. To the middle. Outside for Porter. Pass to Hamilton. It's hauled in by White. Boston's gone 4 of 8 from outside in this first quarter. From downtown. It's rebounded by Shangoon. And here's Porter. And there's the drive. Shoots over Neesmith. The Rockets with another miss. And so it's the Boston Celtics. come to the party. I love it. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. Here's White. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Kevin Porter is out there with Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Christian Wood, and it's Christopher in at the small forward position. That's the five for Houston right now. Smart against Schroeder. Pass to Shangun. Here's Christopher. Shot clock at six. Inside. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Smart against Schroeder. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Well, you have to admire how smart is running this up. And it's a completely new group for the Rockets. A big group substitution here for Boston. Cornette's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Jalen Brown. Neesmith, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Outside Tatum. yet again no luck they battled on the glass but they couldn't knock it down well this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy he looks completely flustered and they take the lead wall's got eight here in this quarter boy he's putting pressure on the defense that's two from downtown this period down low here's williams and williams punches it home Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. 
And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Left side wall, back to MP. Baseline jumper. Rebounded by the Celtics. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Hey, great communication on the lob. Well, you love the way John Wall sees the floor. He's always surveying, looking for what the defense is giving up. Outside Tatum. Pass to Neesmith. Here's Pritchard. Wall covering. Puts one up from 19. Pritchard, no good. The Rockets trail. Inside. Tate passes to Wall. Kicks it out to MP. Oh, he tries a three. The shot off that time. And Boston going the other way now. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. Yeah, they hit the court last game with some serious attitude, especially on offense. And what surprised me was how easy they made it look. It seemed like they got something out of every possession. Back to Pritchard. Puts up a three. Another missed shot. He's one of five. Looking shaky out there. On the wing, MP. Hey, from beyond the arc. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got six rebounds in the game. Williams, a screen on Tate. And Tatum, here we go. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got three assists in the game.
Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Outside, Green. There's the three. Rebound, Boston. Tatum's got rebound number seven tonight. Boy, we have seen Jason Tatum improve each and every year. Not just his productivity, guys. He's so skilled. But it's the leadership. It's the maturity for his age that's really striking. To the middle. Hamilton with the bucket. MP's got his third bucket of the night. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And Pritchard, here we go. So both teams changing it up here. So he gets them both. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Pass to Shangun to the inside. Here's Hamilton. Soft touch off the glass. MP's got eight points. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. White drives in. And he throws it down with one hand. It's just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Boston's gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. Pass to Tatum. And no good. Green with the defensive effort. Here's Shengun over Williams. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And the first half. Get better. So the Celtics five right now. Peyton Pritchard is out there with Derek White. Then it's Neesmith. Then there's Robert Williams. And it's Williams in at the four. Shangun had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Boston has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. White can't hit. Houston has gone one of six from three-point range here in the third. Not the result they're looking for. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. B.A., the Boston Celtics last year had the team's worst win percentage in the last six seasons. The front office admitted, as constituted, they were not a championship caliber team. Now, for this proud franchise, accustomed to competing deep into the playoffs, the question becomes, how do they get back on top? Yeah, that's a big one. Good stuff there, Allie. Thanks. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Porter, the pass to MP, to the paint. Here's Martin. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Pritchard. He has seven. Going inside. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll see. That's not a foul. Are you kidding me? Unless you give an effort. The Celtics making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Boston. I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Now, something else we've seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to drop. Big points coming from three-point range right now. And the Celtics in possession here. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Outside Tatum. Fires for three. Christopher with a rebound. The Rockets shooting the rock around 43% since the third quarter began. 
Well, coaching styles vary around the league doors. But what do you think the priority should be for a coach to be successful in the NBA? Priorities are innumerable, to be honest with you, B.A. These guys have an incredibly difficult job. You are stopping the best players in the world who have become so skilled. And so, number one, can you motivate players? Number two, what is your philosophy on both ends of the floor? Can you stop the opponent's best guys? Uh, can you put your best guys in their most advantageous positions? Listen, coaching in the modern NBA is brutal. It is hard, and it takes an all-consuming effort to be great. There's Tatum with the three. That shot off the mark. And the Rockets shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Pass to Shangun. Here's Hamilton. Got a piece of it. A minute nine left to play in the third. Out to the wing. Now here's Tatum. Four on the clock. 13 feet out. Rockets with a rebound. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Pass to Hamilton. And the layup is good off the glass. MP's got six in the quarter. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. Now here's White, guarded closely. Here's Pritchard. Williams, a screen on MP. It's Williams, high post. Tries to snap the cold streak, and he sinks the layup. And the Celtics lead by nine. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Shot by Hamilton. No good. Outside White. Here's Pritchard. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's... is upon us. Free throw good. Brown. That's what you call slamming the door. This one is over. Schroeder passes to MP. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. So we see the Celtics taking the W here.
Nice to see you, MP. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing good. How you doing, Jess? Wonderful. Thank you for asking. Ms. Kelleher is waiting for you in the conference room upstairs. Awesome. I'll see you soon. Oh. <clears throat> are you enjoying your newfound bad boy status? <laughs> I like it. Look, yeah. I like it, to be honest, uh, especially because it's for a just cause. Man, you know me better than anybody. I'm not somebody who lets the world tell me what I'm worth. I define that. As you should. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I booked an interview for you. Okay. To sit down with Frank Valentine to clear the air. <laughs> so not clear the air. Well, Got it. The, the idea isn't to burn bridges, but you're aware management isn't going to like what you have to say. So it's okay to approach the interview from a place of delivering a hard truth, you know? For sure. It's just a fine line to walk to avoid coming off sounding like an entitled brat, huh? Yeah. Just never forget that the coach is who's in the wrong here. Don't let them make you feel ashamed of speaking the truth. You got this. We got this. <laughs>
In the face of this game, Chris, unlikely to be high. Both of these teams like to slow it down. And Chris, as you know, run half court sets. And Finney Smith and Dinwiddie subbed in for Reggie Bullock. Green against Dinwiddie. Wants to get it to Powell and does. And comes up empty down low. Look, they say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that should have been easy. Green kicks to Hamilton. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, yeah, so far, both teams have been outstanding at the offensive end, but not a lot of game left to play. Pass to Brunson. Outside Hardaway. Misses the three. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Rockets. They trail by one. And this is the first time they've matched up with the Mavericks this year. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Uh, so uh, we're going to say they're going to be familiar with each other, huh? But, but even so, these teams will learn about each other tonight. So much changes from year to year. Doncic, no good. Houston's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. It's good. And it's six points for MP. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. The shot's good from Brunson. In the all-around game of Doncic, not just a scorer, but a great dime dropper as well. Notices his open teammates quickly. Hamilton. Not enough on that one as it misses. The Mavericks shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. Out to Hardaway. For the three. Knocks down the three ball. And the Mavericks lead by two. Maybe he's not a priority for the D, but come on, man. You gotta have somebody keeping track of him. Here's Hamilton. That shot misses. Good D by Hardaway. Let's send it over to David Aldridge, who caught up with head coach Stephen Silas. David. Well, Kevin. Room in the paint. If it means they stay tight on their outside shooters. He said it's no secret those guys attack from long range. And that's what we've got to stop. We'll see, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Obviously, the three ball is a big concern for any defense. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Marjanovic comes in for Dwight Powell. And it's Marquise Chris in for Jalen Brunson. Good! Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Pockets trailed by four. Inside, here's Hamilton. That one's off, still out of sync. Dallas has gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter. The drive by Doncic. Yep, that one goes. Doncic has got 12 in the game. And with good length and athleticism, Doncic not only gets to the rim, but boy, can he finish. Here's Hamilton. The Mavericks pull it in. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys are defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. you got to be locked in on the road. I mean, when there's no cohesiveness on defense, you're in danger. They get it again. No good from Hamilton. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Hardaway passes to Doncic. Dallas moving the ball around. Shoots from the baseline. It's Hardaway that time on the assist by Dinwiddie. Hardaway has got his third basket of the night right there. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And the rejection by Marjanovic. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. He dishes it to Doncic. Hardaway with a wide open look. Offline with his three. Uh, even for a player who's not a three-point specialist, I mean, that's a shot you've got to knock down. Here's Hamilton. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. He's got eight. 
And in dropping that one, he stops a 13-0 run by Dallas. The pass to Chris from downtown. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. It's Martin on the wing. Shot and game clock separated by five. Hamilton sets a screen for Martin. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. On the wing, Doncic. Over Porter. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence, the big lead. They come out of the gate strong at both ends. In this game, we'll get right back. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Reggie Bullock, and Luka Doncic subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Here's Schroeder, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Taking a look at the Rockets, Kevin Porter is out there with Dennis Schroeder. Then it's MP, and it's Shangun in at the center, filling out the middle. Pass to Marjanovic. Dishes it to Doncic. A floater. Rockets with the rebound. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Hamilton. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. To the middle. Here's Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. The contact and still with the strength to finish. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Mavericks. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. Yeah, also, though, they've done a good job of pounding the offensive glass for second chance points. Yeah, good-looking bounce pass to set up that one. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Back to Marjanovic. And no good. And the Rockets take it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. And guys, you just can't afford to give away points from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Yeah, and that's got to be annoying to them. I mean, work hard to get to the line, but fail to capitalize. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Outside, Porter. Down low. Here's Hamilton. Shoots over Doncic. No good from Hamilton. Mavericks leading by 15. And you know you're special when you're drafted third and people still can't believe you slipped that far. That's how good Doncic has been in his young career. Here's Hamilton. It's stolen by Marjanovic. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. Doncic leading the charge. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. And Greg, at the time of the 2018 draft, Luka Doncic was regarded as the best international prospect ever. And that sounds right because, you know, coming from Europe, a lot of people assume that he's got a low ceiling, but he's surpassing all those expectations. Here's Marjanovic, and the rebound goes to Martin. Martin's got four rebounds in this game. And it's Schroeder in the corner. Wants to get it to Hamilton and does. Dinwiddie with the steal. Hardaway against Porter. Outside Hardaway. Passes to Marjanovic. Over Martin. And that one's good. Marjanovic. Marjanovic has got four points this quarter. Rockets trailed by 21. Hamilton outside. To the paint. It's stolen by Marjanovic. Doncic against Porter. That's good from Doncic on the assist by Dinwiddie. Doncic has got 22 points. 
Oh, he's got a role in this quarter, taking it on himself to guide their offense. Here's Hamilton. Over Hardaway. Another miss by Houston. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that was a stunt. And Doncic gets it to go. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him, trying to push out that lead. Down low. It's tipped. It's stolen by Marjanovic. Chris finds Doncic. Dallas moving it around. Let's it go from deep. Knocks it loose. And they get it back. Dinwiddie right side. Another shot. Here's Chris. And finally they hit one. Chris has got five now. And how about the timing on the backboards there from Chris? Has the size and quickness to be a problem. And he gets... Coming up. Tim Hardaway picks one up. Houston shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. And he's good on the second. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the... Different look here. Marjanovic checked in for Powell. Chris comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Tim Hardaway Jr. checked in for Reggie Bullock. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Marjanovic is out there with Chris. Then there's Luka Doncic. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Dinwiddie in at the two. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Houston Rockets are rebuilding. And that's a hard pivot for a team that, until last season, was pursuing titles. The new front office has been candid. It's presented challenges as they look to go young and stack up draft picks. They plan to make constant bets on unproven talent as they build toward the future. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Dinwiddie passes to Doncic. Here's a screen by Chris. Doncic against Martin. Doncic, no good. Rocket shooting a stellar 60% since the halftime break. Christopher, the pass to Shengu. Kicks it to Hamilton. And the shot goes in. Hamilton's got 17. So it's the Mavericks now. They host the Spurs after this one. And that game is the second of two straight at home. And Marjanovic with the slam. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. To the middle. Here's Hamilton. And MP throws it down. There are high school refs better than you guys. Way better. Down for the Mavericks. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Houston making a switch here. Schroeder's checked in. And he delivers another blow. Something's gotten into him this quarter. He's carrying them offensively. Porter finds MP. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his third assist on the night. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Dinwiddie dishes to Hardaway. Pass to Marjanovic. Out to the right wing. And a miss there on the triple. And it's Porter with the ball for Houston. On the wing, MP. Guarded by Hardaway. Back to Hamilton. Hardaway with the steal. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. Dinwiddie's shot is off. And it's Houston's ball. Here's Hamilton. And he banks in the layup. Hamilton's got 10 points now just in this quarter. 
just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Doncic looking it over. Over Porter. Doncic, no good. The Rockets shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Schroeder passes to Shengu. Back to Schroeder. To the inside. The kick out to Porter. Martin with the screen for Porter. Here's Hamilton. And the dunk by MP. And this is the time they wanted to mount the rally and get back into it. Dinwiddie against Schroeder. Doncic left side. Shoots a fader. Shengun with the rebound. Rockets trail by 20. At the elbow, it's MP. The layup off target. Dallas shooting has been great up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Hardaway with it. Now guarded by Porter. And Porter comes to help. Here's Chris. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Hardaway has got six assists now in the game. And this is where Chris does a considerable amount of damage. Feels comfortable taking those interior shots. Nice shot by Hamilton. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. All right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that doesn't constitute defense. Doncic dishes to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Six to shoot. There's a screen by Chris. Beyond the arc. Unable to get that one. Can't quite find his three-point touch in the second half yet. He, I mean, he had two in the first half, but still none since the break. And the foul called on MP. Free throw attempt of the night, right? like Steph Curry, uh, Nikola Jokic, even Luka. Who were those skills superstars from when you play? Oh, well, I mean, I tell you, for me, uh, it was guys like Steve Nash, and of course my boys, shout out to my man Paige Stoyakovich, uh, Dirk Nowitzki, Mark Price, Chris Mullen, what up, Molly? Uh, John Stockton, I mean, uh, just, just a lot of great talent in this league. And so in the game for the Rockets, MP is out there with Jay Sean Tate. Then it's Christian Wood, and it's Wall, and it's Christopher in at the two. For Houston, they've gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. And we, we felt it. <laughs> Even over here, we felt it. The pass to Bullock. There's a screen by Marjanovic. Driving the lane. And it's blocked. Hamilton against Green. Hamilton kicks to Wall. Back to Hamilton. Wood passes to Hamilton. Goes up again. Wood finds MP. Wall looking it over. Back to Hamilton. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. 31 points for MP. But you got to respect the passing skills of Wall. He's so adept at filling out the defense. He knows when to dish. Dallas moving the ball around. Here's Nilakina. Here's Bullock. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Yeah, coaches pet peeve there no box out oh it's simple when you fail to put a body on someone you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass no good from Hamilton Dallas leading by 21 and the whistle blows it's going to be on John Wall that's his first foul Junior you're up buckle down now Oh, the 
Right side Hardaway. The dish to Doncic. Here's Finney Smith, covered by Martin. Finney Smith kicks to Bullock. No good on the three. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Rockets. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. Some changes. Marjanovic comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Doncic. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Dinwiddie passes to Finney Smith. And here's Chris. Pass to Marjanovic. Over Hamilton. And that one's good. Marjanovic. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Uh -huh. That's why they're in the driver's seat right now. Looking to put this one away. Schroeder against Dinwiddie. So we see the Mavericks taking...
How is it that you always look so put together? <laughs> Are we starting the interview? No, no, I'm just saying, like, I just noticed. You know, even when you dress casually, it seems like... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just jump into the interview. How do you decide what to wear and what to buy? Hey, look, my biggest thing is quality first. Hey, you ever heard about that rock band that said there could be no brown M&Ms in the dressing room? Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, I guess they were big enough to make those kinds of demands, Hey, right? but look, though, it was a test. And they knew if there were brown M&Ms, it meant someone hadn't followed directions and their stage setup probably wasn't going to be right, too. Okay. You, you following? Yeah. I'm the same way with seams. I'll expect every seam of a garment. If something's off, I know there's probably a lot more that's off, too. Look, Andrew, always start with the seams. Mm. Hey, man, respect for that, you know? I mean, look, I'm a fashion guy, but I'm not going to lie. I always peek to see what's on sale, you know? That's usually hey, what look, I buy. Look, look, don't be so self-deprecated, yeah. man. I've seen your socials, bro. You got, you got a few solid fits, man. Oh, come on, MP. You're too kind. You're <laughs> too kind. All right, man. So <clears throat> that covers clothes. Yeah. And what about, like, accessories? Do you have any go-to accessories? Look, man, it's all about the bling, 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 homie. <laughs> Look, give me a chain, give me some ice, give me a little sparkle game over. Mm. I want you to have to squint when you see me coming, man. Look, my teammates, they always talking about my jewelry game, right? right? I tell them that's why we need to win the title so we can all be rocking some rings, homie. <laughs> I got you. I mean, you've given me a lot to think about, both for my writing and, honestly, for my outfit. Hey, look, look, let me know if you want me to hook you up with my jeweler, bro. I got you. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm going to need T to give me a raise first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, until next time, MP. Are they taking care of you, man. You go get there uh, one day. Yeah, you know, I can't complain, but we could do better. I'm going to talk to you, Andrew. All right, man.